Had you ever been accused of physically abusing a woman before this point? No. No. How would you describe the impact of these allegations at the time they were made? And Arnold, if you could please take this down. I've, I've, I've felt ill. I've felt sick. I mean, I'm sick in a sense that But I, there was no tr truth in it. There was no truth in it whatsoever. And the fact that it was coming down on me so hard um, and so quickly and how it, it, it gained momentum around the world. Um, And then you notice people looking at you differently. And then you notice calls start coming from agents and producers and um, that sort of thing. This was this was a this was a bef this was before, in fact, the Me Too movement had. Uh, had uh, come around. This was a while before that, so I, I, I couldn't have expected the Me Too movement to happen, but um, once that happened, then it, it just went into skyrocket mode. So you're, you're showered with, uh, uh, with, you know, you're running between drops of lava. You're trying to run between raindrops that are that 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 kill you um, and destroy you. So uh, I was very confused. I was I was very hurt because. Um, as I said before, when you when you're in a relationship and you you do give your your truth to to intimate truths to to that person that you're with, and then they start to use all that information that I. And, and stretch it out into something that is completely shocking because it, as I said it, it, it just didn't it just didn't happen it, and so I felt like it was incredibly cruel and treachery I felt it was treachery it was it, it, it was uh, I don't know if she wanted me to just be erased or drop dead or 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 just to let me stick around and allow her to ruin my life for a while and um and 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 uh and uh go out of her way to shame me and um, hurt my kids and hurt people who I've known for many, many years. Um, no, it was, uh, I mean, to say that it was unfair is, 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 is about the largest understatement that I, <clears throat> I mean, it's actually the smallest understatement. I mean, the, the, it, 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 it it controlled my every waking second from the moment that I woke up until the moment that I dropped, even on the road playing shows. You'd go out and you'd play for an hour and a half or two hours, 
and you do your best to get through that. And I, I can remember getting off of the, uh, finishing the show, getting on the bus with the other band members and just going to the back of the bus and uh, just, 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 you know, you had to get it out. So I just sat back and in the back of the bus and uh, cried and hid it from people. Mr. Jeff, did you ever have, did you ever discuss Ms. Hurd's domestic abuse allegations with any um, producers or directors in the, in the movie industry? Um, only if they fell into the category of friends. For example, Tim, uh, Tim Burton, who was uh, one of my dearest friends and uh, known him since we made Edward Scissorhands together in 1990. We've been <clears throat> very, very, very close friends ever since then. Um, um, yeah, just f friends, you know. I, 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 and and then of course, as we were on the road, I, you know. The, the fellows in the band, you know, Alice, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Alice Cooper is the singer of the vampires, who's a dear friend, and um, Joe Perry from Aerosmith is in the band, and he's also a dear friend, and then the, um, a couple of the other members are just, are just yeah, very close friends, and uh, I was uh, bereft of any, I, I, you just don't know what to say anymore. You just know what to, so I, I, I tried not to talk about it very much at all, but <clears throat> just to friends. Mr. Depp, when did you and Miss Heard divorce? When was the divorce final? Yes. The divorce was final. January 2017 on Friday the 13th. And how were how were your divorce proceedings resolved ultimately? My team of uh, lawyers, which included uh, two of my entertainment lawyers. Uh, a divorce attorney, um, and two and two more attorneys that were on uh, Blair Burke and uh, some, someone else. Uh, they, they, I wanted to. I wanted to. For lack of a better word, I wanted to fight it. I wanted to fight it because it was. The because there wasn't an ounce, not a grain, not a molecule of truth to it. So I wanted to fight it. They... All right. He was speaking about what he wanted to do in the context of the divorce. I understand. You can do your next question. Sure, certainly. Um, did you pay Ms. Hurd any money in connection with your divorce? Yes. And how much was that? Um, her settlement, she wanted uh, $7 million. I believe that was the settlement, wasn't it? Uh, uh, yes, $7 million. And was there a joint statement that you and Ms. Heard released? Yes, that's what I was getting. Um, the advice that I was given was to not to fight. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Okay. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Um, who wrote the joint statement? I have no idea. Lawyers. Did you approve the joint statement before it was issued? I'll put it this way. I, I wasn't given much of a choice. 
Could we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 408? And Mr. Depp, do you see um, the second paragraph from the bottom of this page? Is that the joint statement that you and Ms. Heard released together? That's the joint statement that was released, yes. And could you please read that joint statement for the jury? Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Amber wishes the best for Johnny in the future. Amber will be donating financial proceeds from the divorce to a charity. What happened after this joint statement was issued, Mr. Depp? What happened after that? Um, I, 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 I suppose, you know, the next move was to start making um, payments to Ms. Heard. Um, they were scheduled payments. Um, and then at a certain point, um, Ms. Heard had, uh, Ms. Heard had made statements to the press saying that the seven million was going to be, was the seven million was the settlement and that seven million was going to be split up between two, sh two charities. One was the ACLU and the other was the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, which in, 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 in fact was a, a, um, a breach of the agreement. Neither one of us were supposed to speak about details, money, anything of that nature. So when Ms. Heard breached that agreement, that was when I asked Ed White, my business manager, to send the first payments directly to the charities in Ms. Heard's name. Um, and after I did that, um, Ms. Ms. Heard, uh, <clears throat> Ms. Heard was very, very angry that I had made those first payments. And she went into a kind of a tirade about how I should be charged double the seven. I should be charged 14 million so that uh, because she thought that I was looking for a, <clears throat> a tax break. In the time period between when your divorce was finalized and the release of the op-ed in December 2018, do you have an estimate as to how many television or movie projects you worked on? I. I don't exactly, I don't exactly, um, I believe there was another, maybe a smaller tour with, with the vampires, um, and I can't, it's, it's, I don't remember, it's hard to remember, I've done too many movies. That's okay. Sorry. Mr. Depp, do you recognize this document? Excuse me, yes, I do. And what is it? Um, this is Ms. Hurd's uh, op-ed for the Washington Post that I believe came out in, uh, December of 18. I, I recognize, yes, I certainly remember this. 
And have you actually read this op-ed? Yes, I have. And what do you think of it, its contents? Well, it was a hell of a start, I'd say, in terms of the, um, the title. If you could, if you could, can, can we scroll down a, a little bit, uh, just for a sec? Um, Because, because I'd like to make a, a point. Going, reading it, and reading the words that uh, she had uh, written um, about what was obviously, um, it was, obviously referring to our relationship. It was obviously referring to me two years ago. Uh, you know, uh, it, it all matched up. And so it was clearly about me. Um, and then I read the rest of the article where she talks about, if you could go down, uh, scroll down just a little bit. In, in this section of the piece, she talks about the plight of, of, of women, uh, not just in Hollywood, but in, in, in general in the world. And there were, uh, there were many things that I did not disagree with in terms of this, this, this part of the article. Um, I, I, I understand, um, anyone's passion to right the wrongs um, that have that have been done for countless years against any any being who's suffered uh, uh, at the hands of domestic violence be it um, women men children um, that's that's something, of course, coming from my background, that I I I, I am very very against any bullying of any human being, any forced violence, any 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 injustice committed against any human being. Um, so all this part of the article was, uh, strangely, I, I, it, it was, it, I understood it very well and I, um, I, I can applaud some of this. I can, I can absolutely say that I believe that it was, it was very well um, done with regard to violence against women or violence against anyone. Um, it, 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 just, it just seemed kind of the, a strange other side. Did you experience any consequences after the release of the op-ed? Absolutely. And what yes. were those? Oh. I, well, I believe it was, uh, I don't think it took Disney very long, maybe a couple of days, to uh, announce that, uh, that, uh, that I had been uh, um, removed from the Pirates of the Caribbean um, films franchise. Um, which I learned about reading in a, in reading one of these type of well, some magazine, the article where Sean Bailey was quoted, which was very odd to me, as I have had many creative conversations with the Disney people. 
um, even to the point of where they were asking me to come uh, back and write pirates. No. Mr. Depp, have you ever physically assaulted Miss Heard? Never. Have you ever sexually assaulted Miss Heard? Never. Certainly not. What have you lost as a result of Miss Heard making these allegations against you? Nothing less than everything. Nothing less than everything. Because when the allegations were made, when the allegations were rapidly cir circling the globe, um, telling people that I was uh, a, a drunken, cocaine-fueled menace um, who beat women suddenly in my 50s. Um, it's over, you, you know, you're, you're done. So, um, what did it do to me? What effect did it have on me? I'll put it to you this way, no matter the outcome of this trial, the second the allegations were made against me, the accusations, the second that more and more of these things, as I said, metastasized and turned into fodder for the media, um, w w once that happens, uh, or once that happened, I lost then because th th that is not a thing that anyone is going to just put on your back for a short period of time. I will live with that for the rest of my life because of the allegations and because it was such a high profile case. So. I lost then, no matter the outcome of this trial. I'll carry that for the rest of my days. And uh, it never had to be that way. It never had to happen. And I don't quite understand why it did in the way that it did. I have no further questions, Your Honor. 